Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks to all of you. Thank you. Please, everybody, have a seat. Uh, before I get started, uh, as the father of two girls, can I just say how uh, incredibly impressive those three young ladies were? Dad would be proud. Uh, to Heather and all the others uh, who have made this evening possible, uh, thank you so much. Uh, it is wonderful to be here. I want to uh, ex express my appreciation for the opportunity to tell jokes that uh, weren't funny enough for me to use when we did this five weeks ago. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> the jokes may not be as good, but neither is the guest list. <laughs> I'm just joking. For me, this, there, there's no contest. Why bother hanging out with celebrities when I can spend time with the people who made me one? I know where my bread is buttered. Plus, we have our own luminaries here in attendance. Uh, the junior senator from Wyoming, John Barrasso, is here. I'm sorry, John Barrasso skipped this evening. Let me tell you, though, for those who haven't met him, John Barrasso is the George Clooney of junior senators from Wyoming. <laughs> it is great to be here with so much talent from the world of TV and radio. Despite the flood of new media, I think your programming is more relevant than ever before. At least that's the impression I get when I read the blogs every day. Good to see a number of hard-working correspondents here tonight. Journalists like Chuck Todd, I think I spotted Chuck over there somewhere. At this, at this dinner, Chuck embodies the best of both worlds. He has the rapid-fire style of a television correspondent and the facial hair of a radio correspondent. <laughs> Mika Rosinski is here, I believe, in the house. Mika and I have a lot in common. We both have partners named Joe, who used to be in Congress and don't know when to stop talking. <laughs> and happening now, Wolf Blitzer is here. He's the only man, the only other man in America with his own situation room. People assume that mine is cooler, but this is not the case. As hard as we've tried, we have not been able to generate the bandwidth necessary to turn Larry Summers into a hologram. We can't do it. Now, one person that uh, you know could not be here tonight is Secretary Hillary Clinton. Uh, as most of you know, uh, Hillary broke her elbow a few days ago on our way to the White House, and we all wish her a very speedy recovery. Uh, I do have to say, though, that while it's been reported as an accident, uh, there were some suspicious circumstances. Uh, just before the incident, Secret Service spotted Richard Holbrook spraying WD-40 all over the driveway. <laughs> so now, on top of the cost of health care and energy and the recovery plan, we've got another fiscal problem. Fortunately, the lawyers tell me that Hillary's ready to settle. <laughs> I have to admit, though, it wasn't easy coming up with fresh material for this dinner. A few nights ago, I was up tossing and turning, trying to figure out exactly what to say. Finally, when I couldn't get back to sleep, I rolled over and asked Brian Williams what he thought. <laughs> Now, the truth is, Brian Williams is actually a terrible house guest. He put an empty milk carton back in the fridge, 
leaves his wet towels all over the Roosevelt room. We're pretty sure he clogged the toilet and didn't tell anybody. Although, I, I must say the whole thing was worth it. Uh, Inside the Obama White House uh, is my favorite new show. There, uh, there's just something really compelling about the main character. It's wonderful narrative. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, uh, the show has been such a hit that all of you guys now want to come and tape one in my house. ABC is planning a series called Dancing with the Czars. <laughs> TLC's got something called John and Kate plus Peter Ortze. <laughs> That's going to be good. <laughs> Nigga Knight has a new take on an old classic. Leave it to Uyghurs. I thought that was pretty good. Of course, given the fiscal crisis in California, these shows all will be competing directly with Governor Schwarzenegger's new reality series. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. That's how I feel tonight. <laughs> Look, it's nothing personal. But this dinner conflicts with my date night. I was supposed to be going out with Michelle for Thai food in Bangkok. But I, I have been doing a lot of traveling. I just uh, returned from a, a trip abroad, as you know, uh, in Egypt. We had the opportunity to tour the pyramids. Uh, by now, uh, I'm sure all of you have seen the pictures of Ram on a camel. I admit I was a little nervous about the whole situation. I, I said at the time, there's a wild animal known to bite and kick and spit, and who knows what the camel might do. <laughs> But uh, I have to say, as I traveled to all these countries, I saw firsthand how much people truly have in common with one another. Because no matter where I went, there's one thing I heard over and over again from every world leader. No thanks, but have you considered Palau? <laughs> of course, most of my attention has been focused uh, here back home. As you know, we've been working around the clock to repair our major financial institutions and our auto companies. But you probably wouldn't under this, understand the concept of troubled industries working as you do in the radio and television industry. <laughs> we don't joke about that, huh? That's not funny. One problem we're trying to solve is the high cost of health care in America. And I'm pleased that in our quest to reform the health care system, I've gained the support of the American Medical Association. It proves true, the old expression, that it's easier to catch flies with honey. And if honey doesn't work, feel free to use an open palm and a swift downward movement. <laughs> now, the challenges we face are many, and I'll be honest, I don't have all the answers. And when I'm not sure what's right, I often ask myself, WWLD, what would a wise Latino do? 